Today was a good day. Oh yes, a very good day. A day in which I'm very pleased to say I think I have put an end to a long-running problem I had with my neighbour next door, Mr Darren Thomas. You see, I am a man of peace. A man who only seeks to get on with his fellow man. A man who tries to spread a little love and goodwill in the community. Do you know what I mean? <clears throat> I value peace and harmony. Love and happiness. I want us all to get along and live our lives with friendship and brotherly love. And I think the best way we can all achieve that blessed state of affairs is if we mind our own business. Know what I mean. <sighs> live and let live. That's what I say. It's not difficult, is it? Live and let live. That's what I say. But I also say something else. And that is, do not fuck with Daphneth Williams. Get it? If you could all just kindly bring yourselves to obey that simple rule, we'll all get along. We'll all get along in lovely, 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 lovely peace and harmony. You see, me and Darren, we were way back. Way, way back. We have the same school. I've known Darren many a long year. Way before he moved in next door. Now I say, if you're going to move into a neighbourhood, you need to make a bit of an effort to fit in. You know what I mean? If you're new in the neighbourhood, you should be aware that there were other people there before you. The way I see it, you should respect the rules of the community that you have chosen to move into. When in Rome, do as the Romans, yes? Respect the rules of the community that has welcomed you into its bosom. You try and blend in with your neighbours. You don't go upsetting them for no good reason. You keep your music down. You don't have a screaming row with your missus at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> You don't let your dog crap in their front garden. You don't park your car outside their house. You park your car outside your house. Not your neighbour's house. Yes. I told him, I said, do me a favour, mate. Don't park your car outside my house. All right, I asked him polite enough. And he kept on doing it. This missus has also got a car. They can't be asked to find somewhere else to park it. I told him again and he said, you don't own the space outside your house. That's the council's land, that is. I said, I don't care whose bloody land it is. You don't park your car outside my house. Just can't reason with some people. He's very fond of his little car. It's a BMW. Keeps it nice and shiny. <laughs> it's not new. It's about 10 years old. If he looks after it, I'll give him that. Looks after it better than I do my van. <laughs> well, today I put an end to that problem. <laughs> I think I've sorted that one out all right. Bish, bash, bosh. <laughs> Bish, there goes his windscreen. Bosh. There goes his driver's side window. Bash! There goes his rear screen. Oh my God! What have you done? Daddy! Why did you do it? Why? He was your best mate before you started that stupid row out of his car. Why did you do these things? Why? Why? So today was a very good day. A very good day indeed. I think I won't be having any more trouble from Mr. Darren Thomas. Have I done? Oh my god, what the fucking hell have I done?